to paint. I picked this huge flat rock. Tessa, what kind of rock did you pick? I picked a small flat rock. Oh, and then here's another one, a small round, but also flat rock. We think flat rocks are the best ones to paint because you can write a nice little message on the flat spot. And sometimes you can't find a flat rock and you get this rock, so. You know, this is also good to paint if you want 3D structures. Okay, in your rock painting kit, you're gonna get some paint brushes, you're gonna get some paint, and that's about it. Because you got rocks all around you, baby. So you're gonna get the three primary colors, so blue, yellow, and red, and then black and white. And you can make any color that you can even think of, every color you've ever seen, or never seen with all those colors. So here, I have mixed blue and red paint, and that, I'm gonna mix it up. It's gonna give me a little purple paint. Maybe I need a little bit more red in this one. What do you think, Tessa? Yeah, just a tiny bit Just more a little red. squirt more so you can choose your own adventure. And a little bit of white if you want a lighter pink or a brighter pink. Ooh. Right here, I just have a watered down white color because I'm just going to paint a base before I go in with colors. Why are you painting a base, Tessa? Um, it's to not only enhance the colors on the rock, but it's also to have a clean outline mm. when I start. So, I've painted my base color on my rock, but I want to paint more! Should I keep painting on top of this wet paint, Tessa? Well, I painted my base and I kept mine a little bit wet because I like to blend in different colors. As you see, I got a little sunrise going! <laughs> on mine, I painted it all purple because I had no plan. <laughs> and I'm going to let the purple dry so I can paint something on top of it because I don't want the colors to mix. We have our finished rocks. As you can see, some of them obviously had a plan. Others didn't, and that's okay. Art's not about doing it right. It's about just doing it. We wrote some messages on our rocks. So this rock says, what's the buzz? Can you find a bee? This one, it's got some clouds. It says, do you see a shape in a cloud? plants. So I was wondering how many different kinds of plants can you see around this rock? Tessa's beautiful rock here, the chickadee, says stop, listen. How many birds can you hear? How many can you see? And my personal favorite, he's lonely. Pick me up. Help me find five friends. So you can paint whatever you want on your rock, and you can write a nice message, you can give someone directions, whatever you think of.